replacement precast panels were manufactured a month in advance of actual installation. This ensured that the high-performance concrete achieved full design strengths. This was necessary since the repaired areas were to be open to airport traffic immediately following each night's work. The panels chosen were cast 14 inches thick and reinforced with two mats of number four steel bars, 12 inches on center in both directions, with three inches of cover. The resulting concrete significantly exceeded the authority's specified minimum values of 750 PSI flexural and 4,000 PSI compressive strengths. Removal of existing sections was simplified by saw cutting the cracked sections into manageable size pieces. Full depth relief cuts were made inside the perimeter cuts. Holes were drilled in each section to install lifting lugs and sections were removed using a crane. Traditional excavation equipment was used to clean out the holes and re-level the base which was graded and finished to one to two inches deeper than the precast panel thickness. Since the panels were to be restored to grade through the controlled lift provided by the expanding high-density polyurethane, precise grading was not necessary, thereby providing a significant time savings. The panels were carefully placed into the prepared hole and spaced such that a maximum of three quarters of an inch was maintained along each perimeter edge. The pre-positioned starter holes were cleaned and copper injection tubes were inserted. The precast panels were then lifted and aligned using the Eurotech method to match the elevation of the surrounding concrete to within one-eighth of an inch. The injection of high-density polyurethane was monitored using laser levels. Both the precast panels and the perimeter of surrounding panels were undersealed and filled completely and uniformly. All voids created during saw cutting, concrete material removal and excavation were filled and all adjacent panels were fully supported.